There are many names, titles, but they're all the same spirit. If you can grasp and get a hold of what I'm trying to help you to see, you won't be deceived. Remember, Satan's strategy is to confuse. His strategy is to complicate. That's why Paul the Apostle said, Do not leave the simplicity that is in Christ Jesus, having your mind corrupted. He likened that to what happened to Adam and Eve in the garden. All the different religions today, all the different uh, secret societies, everything that's going on today is the same spirit. And when it all comes down to where the rubber meets the road, at the end of the day, it's all worshiping the beast. All except those that are blood washed and sanctified saints of God. There is only one way to heaven, only one. There is only one way to assure that you are going to spend eternity in heaven with God. That is the God of the Bible. And that is through the shed blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Now, I know it sounds simple, but remember, this is Satan's strategy. He has thousands of different organizations and religions and different secret societies and things that are going on on this earth today that when a person that does not know Jesus, that's not saved, sees all these different opportunities, a lot of times they'll try out a bunch of them. They'll get, they'll dabble. They'll dabble in the occult. They'll dabble in different religions. They'll church hop. They'll go to different places. And Satan loves that because every single one of those places that they're checking out is still Satan. At the end of the day, they're worshiping the beast. Whether they're worshiping themselves or worshiping a man, worshiping idols, it doesn't matter what they're worshiping when it comes down to at the end of the day they're worshiping at the same altar they are worshiping satan even when they're worshiping themselves they're worshiping satan god said thou shalt have no other gods before me God is a jealous God. And I helped you to understand that God's jealousy comes out of his love. His his wrath comes out of his love. You say, how is that possible? Out of God's love comes his jealousy to protect his people. That same jealousy will destroy his enemies. So out of that jealousy comes protection and God's anger, his wrath. 
And that all comes from his love. The Bible does not say God is hate. The Bible doesn't say God is wrath. The Bible says God is love. And a man that is jealous over his wife, he's not a man of hate. He's a man of love. He loves his wife. And so he does everything he can to protect her. That's who God is. So, in a generation when there's so many different choices, you don't have to be deceived because there's only really one choice. Only one. You must choose to do God's will, not your own. Jesus said, Many will say unto me on that day, Lord, Lord. And he'll say, I never knew you. They'll begin knocking at the door. Let us in. Because the door will be shut. Right now the door is open. Now is the accepted time. Today is the day of salvation. Jesus is the door. But once the Lord shuts the door, you stand without, knocking, saying, open to us. Yes, I don't, I don't know who you are. Who are you? I never knew you, you workers of iniquity. Jesus made it very clear. He made it very plain. People say, oh, well, Jesus never said he was the Son of God. Jesus said these words. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man goeth unto the Father but by me. That's plain. That's straightforward. And this is where people get in trouble, is they don't mix faith with his words. Jesus said, it's the very words I speak, these very words I'm speaking to you, they sanctify you, they set you apart. In other words, when you accept what he says, and you believe it, and apply it, it sets you apart, it sanctifies you. So I I want you folks to understand that just because there may be thousands of different choices out there, if you can focus on the only right choice, if you can keep your eyes on the only way that leads to life, it's a narrow way. It's a straight way. It's a narrow way that leads to life. And few there be that find it. You've got to have faith to believe that there is only one way to eternal life with Jesus Christ. Because there's a lot of teaching today saying that all the religions in the world lead to the same God. No, they don't. That's pantheism. Folks, God made it very simple. Even a child can understand it. He said, lest you become as little children, you can't enter his kingdom. So if you're deceived in this hour and you end up not making it to heaven, it's not because God didn't do everything he could. To make it possible. It's your choice.